What is a poison pill? A poison pill is also known as a shareholder's rights plan. And it's a instrument tool that really started being used in the 1980s. Uh, and it's a tool to prevent, let's say, a hostile takeover. There's two types of takeovers for a company. One is a friendly takeover where the company and the buyer agree to kind of share the information and then agree on a, a selling price. A hostile takeover is when the company doesn't want to sell to the actual buyer. So what they want to do is institute some type of mechanism that would make it undesirable to actually buy the company, ergo, the actual poison pill. And to understand the poison pill, uh, let's take a simple example. So for example, let's say that the company has a thousand shares of outstanding stock, right? Total stock, a thousand. And let's say that somebody comes in and buys 10% of those shares, right? Basically getting a 10% majority owner stakeholder in that company. And let's say that's the largest portion, right? So they own a hundred shares. Now that still leaves 900 outstanding shares. Now, the way the poison pill works, the shareholder rights plan works, is that when somebody comes in and tries to buy the company, they're going to call that a triggering event. In other words, somebody's offered a proposal for the company, and now the company has to decide if they want to sell or not. And let's say it's not an, a friendly takeover, it's a hostile takeover. That could be called a triggering event when a tender and offer is made. And the poison pill kicks in and existing keyword, existing shareholders can now buy more shares. So for example, if there's 900 outstanding shares, each owned by let's say one shareholder per, then each one would buy another stock at half the price, which would be $20. Now, that means that the total shares now is the original 900, plus they've issued another 900, making it 1800, plus the buyer's 100, which makes it 1900 total shares. So that triggering event caused the shares to go from 1,000 shares outstanding to 1,900 shares. Now think about that. If you bought 10% of the shares, right? You bought 100 shares, you own 10% of that company. But as soon as the additional stocks are issued, almost like when money is printed, it loses value. So now, instead of 100 divided by 1,000 to give you 10%, it's more like 100 divided by 1,900. Again, simple numbers, 900 plus 900 issued and the original 100 bought by the majority stakeholder, that's 1,900 shares. Now, if you take 100 and divide it by 1,900, now that person owns 5.2%. They went from 10 to 5.2%, which means that the goal of a poison pill is to devalue or dilute the value of the actual stock and also create a situation where the actual buyer, the hostile buyer, uh, will have to pay more for the company in the long run. And in many cases, they don't want to do that. Now let's go over to Elon Musk. So Elon Musk has put in an offer to buy Twitter. Now, Elon Musk bought about 9%, right? Now there's about 800 million shares outstanding. So big numbers to do math on. And so he put in an offer at $54.20. Now, at the beginning of the month, the share price was about maybe $40, right? So he's offering quite the premium, $40, $54 over that, right? So in other words, $14.20 more. Yesterday, the board of directors issued, invoked the poison pill, the shareholder's rights plan, which means that if anybody buys 15% of Twitter. In other words, if Elon Musk were to go from 9 to 15, that would, that's called a triggering event and now they would be able to issue more stocks, again, diluting the value of the actual company and making it more expensive for someone like Elon Musk to buy. So when this happens, there's several reasons uh, this could or could not work. It could work if the shareholders, again, the majority shareholders, remember the board of directors just represents the shareholders, but if the shareholders start screaming, so to speak, and really putting their board of directors on notice, like, hey, this is a great offer, why aren't we taking it? Uh, that could be a way for Elon Musk to succeed. Now, again, uh, this has happened in the past. I remember a story about Microsoft trying to buy Yahoo and Yahoo invoked a poison pill. And what wound up happening is that as soon as the poison pill was invoked, the Microsoft withdrew their offer 
And all of a sudden, the shareholders really got upset and eventually the CEO of Yahoo had to resign. So there's a lot of things that can shake out from this offer, but it's interesting to understand how the poison pill works. It's really almost like printing money again. It's like printing extra shares. You dilute the value, therefore making it more expensive for the person trying to buy the company to actually buy the company. Good or bad strategy? Only time will tell. Will Elon Musk win? Only time will tell. And again, maybe the strategy isn't so much to buy the company, but to shake it up and maybe even replace top management. That could be it. What do you think?